The Summit Singers a cappella group has been singing its way through dorms, fundraisers, and even the Matt Carney concert since the spring of 2012. This group now hopes to gain club status at St. Thomas. Sophomore Chad Berg started the a cappella group with the dream of finally being in one. I did a lot of singing in high school, and one of the things I wanted to do when I got to college was uh, sing in an a cappella group. When I got here, there wasn't one. Berg and Summit Singers representative, senior Evan Welly, asked for club status at a USG meeting in October. Um, but now we're looking to take that next step. For the longest time. So we're a group of guys who sing together with no instruments. We'll do more like pop, rock type of songs. Um, this goes on. Club status would be an important step for the men's a cappella group. Well, we've all grown so much. And it really is amazing, and I'm very happy about, you know, the progress that we've made. Summit Singers advisor, choral director Angela Broker, believes an a cappella group will benefit the St. Thomas campus. Everybody loves a men's a cappella group. It kind of has universal appeal. So I think there are going to be a lot of campus events that this group is going to be perfectly suited for. <laughs> After the presentation, USG reached its final conclusion about the Summit Singers and awarded them club status. <laughs> to celebrate, the new club harmonized their way to John Paul II dorm and surprised the women with their rhythmic voices. But it's just a price I pay. Not heard most of these songs, so it was really fun. In St. Paul, Austin Reardon and Laura Landvik for Kojo 260.